Hi guys, today is day 35 of round two. I've got enough CCWS. I don't know what happened. I think I thought it was like a day earlier than it was when I counted them because I've actually got one extra instead of three less, which is pretty cool. So that's all done. Today was my last loading day. Um, I've been really, really diligent with my liver support and liver detox. I'm doing all of that. Um, and I'm supporting, like, uh, all my drinks are either water or dandelion tea. Like, it's not, I'm not, I'm trying to OD a little bit on it because I've been so negligent about it. But I'm trying to keep up with all the things, so... First thing in the morning when I do my, like I'm doing matcha instead of coffee and tea because I can't do coffee or tea. But it says I'm, I'm good for green tea. So I'm doing green tea. But concentrated matcha form. So I'm taking my minerals first thing in the morning so I don't forget to take them. And I figure that's not a terrible time to take them because they're liquid. So they're being absorbed and I'm taking enzymes too so that... I know that sounds weird. Enzymes to take a liquid mineral. But it seems to be helping. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to remember all the things in the list. It's like uh, my probiotics I'm doing with the enzymes. I, I generally do anywhere from 20 to 50 billion per meal. So. And I'm not really feeling sick, which is awesome because there was a while there when I was thinking it was the probiotics making me feel sick. But then you don't want to take Zioco right away because it's like, oh no, I still have a two hour wait. <laughs> I don't want to cancel all this hard work. So, been really diligent with the liver cleanse, really diligent with the liver support, and the enzymes, the probiotics, the minerals. The greens even like I've been taking um, my spirulina I've been putting it in with my ancient nutrition bone broth powder and my hemp protein powder so I actually just mixed up a concoction for the road tomorrow if I'm out and about with my sister or cat and it's like just like this huge thing of powder that I'm just gonna dump into my shaker bottle and it's got enzymes and liver support my protein shake my spirulina and probiotics I think there's like 60 billion probiotics they don't need to be refrigerated so they're just in there ready to shake up and drink that'll be my lunch so I'm prepared I'm not gonna go hungry there's lots of fluids there's Zioco in case I feel ugh because I hate shopping generally but I like coming home with good food or a new bra or whatever it might be. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm doing all the right things. Um, I, I don't ever want to have candida overgrowth ever again. So I can't see myself not taking probiotics for the rest of my life. Um, my food is full of antibiotics. My drinking water is full of antibiotics, but as of tomorrow it won't be because I'm getting alkaline water. Hopefully that can... I don't even know if that's antibiotic free. I'm going to ask all those questions. Um, I just... I feel like keeping up with the probiotics, I'm gonna win the war between good and evil in my gut. That's really not the way to put it. <laughs> Pro means good. Anti means bad. Against. But like, I just want to be sure that the population of good, good bacteria outweighs the bad. Two to three pounds of good bacteria should live in your gut. And like, I think most people are living with maybe two to three ounces. If that. Um, but after all of this cleansing and stuff is done and I've kept up with my 
entire body and all of its needs. The one thing that I will continue to carry on is vitamin C and probiotics for the rest of my life. I have no issues taking vitamin C and probiotics for the rest of my life because I don't I don't want to experience this ever again. I've got a history of dementia and Alzheimer's in my family and I have a, a like a slight theory, a tiny little theory that they're one and the same. Like the, the candida doesn't help. Not at all. If it's living in your brain and fogging it up, there's no stopping it from making either of those diseases worse. So, um, I think sometime this week I'll set aside some time to put on some headphones and try to sort of nail down what cell debris meant, if he even said anything about it. I know it was probably very hard for him to go through three women's blood samples while all three women were in the same room and, like, excited about what they were learning. <laughs> That's why I didn't retain everything because it was just like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. This is the best day. I'm like fascinated by what I'm learning and seeing and I'm there for you girls. Whatever you need, I'll help you get through it. <laughs> I don't know. It's just exciting and I just feel bad. He's like the only guy in the room. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to stop this now. It's like probably the shortest video I've ever made. I just wanted to give you guys an update. And I will keep you posted on all the good stuff and the bad stuff and the ugly stuff. My three-day headache went away. I always think of something after I'm about to say goodbye. Three-day headache went away as soon as I took two Zioko. I should have taken those. Like, why do I have a headache? I'm like, oh yeah, I quit coffee. That's probably why. No, I still have it. It should be gone, but it never goes away. Then I take the Zioco and I'm fine. Oh well. Now I know. Instead of Tylenol, I'll take Zioco. And if that doesn't help, drink more water. <laughs> Alright guys, I love you. I'll just talk to you another time. And stop wasting all of your time. Uh, thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye.